Have you ever pondered over the mysteries of the Great Pyramids? These awe-inspiring structures, standing tall in the Egyptian desert, are as enigmatic as they are magnificent. For centuries they have captured the imagination of scholars, adventurers and dreamers alike, all asking the same question, how and why were they built? Now the conventional wisdom suggests that the pyramids were erected as grand tombs for the pharaohs. These were the ultimate resting places for these god kings, a testament to their divine power and eternal glory. However, this belief gives rise to more questions than it answers. For instance, if these pyramids were indeed tombs, where are the mummified remains of the pharaohs? Where are the precious burial goods that were supposedly interred with them? Strangely, most pyramids have been found empty, devoid of any signs of burial. Moreover, consider the sheer scale of these structures. The Great Pyramid of Giza, for example, consists of over two million blocks of stone, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. Can you imagine the enormous resources, both human and material, required to build such a monument? The logistics alone would be a nightmare, even with our modern technology. Yet we are expected to believe that the ancient Egyptians accomplished this feat with nothing more than primitive tools and sheer manpower. And then there's the precision. The pyramids are aligned with an accuracy that would be impressive even by today's standards. They are oriented towards true north with a margin of error of just three sixtieths of a single degree. How could a civilization that existed thousands of years before the invention of the compass achieve such precision? These questions have led many to suspect that there might be more to the story of the pyramids than we've been told. Perhaps these ancient structures were not merely tombs, but served a more complex and mysterious purpose. After all, the pyramids have stood the test of time, their secrets locked away in their stone chambers, challenging us to unravel their mysteries. But what if there's more to these ancient structures than meets the eye? What if we told you that some believe the pyramids were built by extraterrestrial beings? Yes, you heard it right. We're diving into the depths of the alien theory. This theory has sparked imagination and conspiracy for decades, suggesting that the pyramids' advanced architecture and astronomical alignment could only have been achieved with technology beyond our comprehension, technology that might have been brought by visitors from the stars. Imagine for a moment, a civilization from another world, advanced beyond our wildest dreams, journeying across the cosmos to land here, on our humble planet. They share their knowledge, their technology, and assist in building these monuments that have stood the test of time. This theory also draws upon the enigmatic hieroglyphs found in Egyptian tombs and monuments. Some theorists interpret these ancient symbols as depictions of alien beings or advanced technology. They point to drawings that resemble modern machinery, such as helicopters or submarines, and figures that look eerily similar to what we today consider the classic alien image, elongated heads, large eyes, small bodies. But these interpretations are not without controversy. Skeptics argue that these hieroglyphs have been misunderstood or misrepresented by enthusiasts of the alien theory. They contend that what appear to be depictions of advanced technology or extraterrestrial beings are, in fact, amalgamations of more mundane symbols. Yet the question remains, how could a civilization from over 4,000 years ago, without our modern tools and knowledge, construct such precise and towering structures? Could they have had help from a more advanced civilization, not from this Earth, but from the stars? The alien theory, while unproven, continues to captivate our collective imagination. It challenges our understanding of human history and our place in the cosmos. It asks us to consider the possibilities of what we could achieve and perhaps what we have achieved with a little help from our friends in the universe. So we leave you with this tantalizing thought. Could the pyramids actually be a testament to an ancient alien civilization? Ever heard of the lost city of Atlantis and its possible connection to the pyramids? Let's take a step back into the mists of time and explore the Atlantis theory. This is a fascinating hypothesis, suggesting that survivors from the mythical lost city of Atlantis were the true architects of the pyramids. Now you might be wondering, why would anyone think that? Well, it's all about the complexity of the pyramids. 
Their design and construction techniques are so advanced that some people believe they are beyond the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. We're talking about a civilization that existed over 4,000 years ago. Yet they supposedly built these structures with an accuracy and sophistication that we would struggle to replicate even today. The pyramids align with the stars. They're perfectly geometric, and they have survived earthquakes and the ravages of time. How could a society that supposedly had only simple tools at their disposal achieve such feats? This is where the Atlantis theory comes in. According to this theory, the survivors of Atlantis, a civilization believed to be incredibly advanced, found refuge in Egypt after their city sank beneath the waves. It's said that they brought with them knowledge far beyond that of the local population. With this advanced knowledge, they were able to design and build the pyramids, leaving behind a testament to their lost city. It's a compelling theory, isn't it? But like all theories, it has its critics. Some argue that there's no solid evidence to support the existence of Atlantis, let alone its connection to the pyramids. Others believe that the ancient Egyptians were more than capable of building these structures on their own. Regardless of where you stand on this theory, it's hard to ignore the allure of the unknown. The pyramids continue to fascinate us, their secrets tucked away within their stone walls. And so we ask ourselves, could the pyramids be remnants of this lost civilization? Could the pyramids have served a much more practical purpose? Let's delve into an intriguing perspective called the power plant theory. This notion suggests that the great pyramids of Egypt were not tombs, monuments, or astronomical tools, but rather ancient power generators. The proponents of the power plant theory argue that the pyramid's design and the materials used in their construction could have been exploited to generate and transmit energy. At the core of this theory lies the understanding of the pyramids as colossal resonators of vibrational or wave energy. Let's take a closer look. The pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid of Giza, are primarily made of limestone, a material composed of tiny, crystalline structures. These structures are known to possess piezoelectric properties. When subjected to mechanical stress, they can generate an electric charge. Imagine, if you will, the Earth's natural seismic activity causing the billions of quartz crystals in the pyramids to vibrate, thereby creating a steady flow of electrical current. But where does this energy go? The power plant theory suggests that the pyramids could have served as massive antennas. The energy produced within the pyramid would be focused and amplified as it traveled up the structure. The capstone, traditionally believed to be made of gold, an excellent conductor of electricity, would then transmit this energy. We even see hints of this idea in ancient Egyptian iconography, where deities are often depicted holding ank, a symbol that resembles a power cord in a socket. Could this be a clue left by the ancients, hinting at their knowledge of electricity? This theory, while speculative and controversial, opens up a world of possibilities. It challenges our understanding of ancient civilizations and their technological prowess. It catapults us beyond the traditional narrative of the pyramids as mere burial sites or cosmic calendars, suggesting instead that they were functional structures integral to the life and technology of ancient Egypt. So, we are left with the tantalizing question. Was ancient Egypt a hotbed of advanced technology? What if the pyramids had a biblical origin? The biblical theory is a fascinating perspective that suggests the pyramids specifically the Great Pyramid of Giza, were constructed by none other than Joseph, a key figure in the Bible. Now hold your questions and let's delve into this theory. Joseph, revered for his ability to interpret dreams, held a high-ranking position in the Pharaoh's court. He famously predicted seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. In response to this prophecy, he proposed the construction of granaries to store surplus grain during the bountiful years. Now, here's where the pyramids come into play. The biblical theory proposes that the pyramids, in particular the Great Pyramid of Giza, were these granaries. This theory is supported by the fact that the construction of the pyramids aligns with the timeline of Joseph's tenure in Egypt. Moreover, 
the Bible describes these granaries as massive structures, which would be consistent with the monumental scale of the pyramids. The internal structure of the pyramids, with their complex system of chambers, could also be interpreted as a sophisticated method of grain storage and preservation. However, the biblical theory isn't without its skeptics. Critics argue that the pyramids were tombs, not granaries, pointing towards the lack of grain residue within the structures as evidence. Furthermore, the intricate carvings and hieroglyphics found within the pyramids seem to tell a different story. Despite these criticisms, the biblical theory remains a compelling perspective. It's a theory that merges the realms of history and faith, suggesting that the pyramids may not just be a testament to ancient Egyptian ingenuity, but also a testament to a biblical prophecy. The pyramids have stood the test of time, their purpose shrouded in mystery and speculation. And while we may never truly unravel their secrets, the biblical theory offers a unique lens through which we can view these magnificent structures. Could the Bible hold the key to the pyramid's true purpose? Now, what does science say about these theories? Well, let's take a moment to consider what the scientific community thinks about these riveting theories. From aliens to lost civilizations, it's clear that the pyramids have sparked some truly out-of-this-world ideas. But it's important to remember that these are, at the end of the day, just theories. Most researchers agree that the pyramids were built as tombs for the pharaohs. This is grounded in substantial evidence, including the discovery of burial equipment, inscriptions, and even mummies in some pyramids. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, for instance, is widely believed to have been built as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, hence the name. The alien theory, while fascinating, lacks concrete evidence. While it's true that the pyramids are feats of architectural brilliance, attributing them to extraterrestrial beings is a leap. Archaeologists have found evidence of the tools and methods used by the ancient Egyptians, demonstrating human capability in their construction. The Atlantis connection is similarly speculative. The idea that the pyramids were built by a lost civilization is an alluring one, but there's no solid proof to back it up. The ancient Egyptians left behind a wealth of records about their culture and architecture, none of which mention a lost civilization. The power plant theory suggesting that the pyramids were ancient energy generators is also captivating. But again, there's no tangible evidence to support this. The pyramids were built with precision, but there's nothing to suggest they had such technological capabilities. Finally, the biblical theory, while it has its followers, isn't widely accepted by the scientific community. Most scholars view the pyramids as separate from the biblical narrative built by the ancient Egyptians for their pharaohs, not for biblical figures. So, in the end, while these theories are entertaining, they're not substantiated by the evidence at hand. The vast majority of archaeologists and Egyptologists still hold firm that the pyramids were tombs for the pharaohs. So the pyramids remain as enigmatic as ever, don't they? In the end, could the mystery itself be the pyramids' greatest legacy? Let us ponder on that for a moment. For centuries, the pyramids have stood as enigmatic sentinels, their secrets locked within their stone hearts. They have been the subject of countless theories and speculations, each more intriguing than the last. But despite our best efforts, the true purpose of these ancient structures remains largely unknown. This enduring fascination with the pyramids' mysteries is a testament to the power of the unknown. As humans, we are inherently curious creatures. We are drawn to mysteries like moths to a flame, compelled to seek answers, to unravel the secrets wrapped within the shroud of the past. The pyramids, with their enigmatic origins and unyielding secrets, are a perfect catalyst for this innate curiosity. While many of the theories surrounding the pyramids are largely unsubstantiated, they continue to captivate our collective imagination. These theories, ranging from alien interventions to lost civilizations, while they may seem far-fetched to some, inspire research and exploration. They encourage us to dig deeper, to question, to challenge the known, and venture into the realm of the unknown. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of these theories is not their potential validity, but the sense of wonder they inspire. 
They remind us of a time when our ancestors looked at the world with awe and curiosity, when the world was still filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. They push us to question, to explore, to seek answers, fueling the fire of human curiosity. So as we stand at the foot of these ancient giants, let us not be disheartened by the mysteries they guard. Instead, let us embrace the unknown, let it inspire us, fuel our curiosity and drive us forward on our quest for knowledge. Perhaps the true purpose of the pyramids is to remind us of the boundless potential of human curiosity and the enduring allure of the unknown.